Previously, from a 12 volts car alternator, I generated a lot of electricity by using a 12 volts battery for its rotor excitation. So today, instead of that, I will use this 1.5 volts Duracell for rotor excitation of this alternator. So this is a remote and from this, I'm going to get the cell which means that it's old. Let's take a multimeter to make its electrical measurements. Starting with the voltage and setting the meter to 20 volts DC mode. And we have 1.52 volts DC which is exactly as it should be. Next, setting the meter in the current measurement mode and here we have 0.21 amperes. So our maximum power from this cell is 0.32 watts which is even less than a watt now let's install the alternator on the wise strongly to avoid any possible accidents and at the same time use other kind of lockings as well to prevent any possible alternator slippage from the wise moving on to some important information before starting with the test number one the alternator is rated at 12 volts 90 amperes number two here i will be connecting my alternator by skipping the voltage regulator number three the driving machine will be a two kilowatts dc motor number four this dc motor will be controlled with this two kilowatts dimmer circuit which i bought online number five on this channel i will only be uploading the alternator and generator videos as i've already told you now this is the belt that will be used to couple the DC drive and my alternator and it is quite stretchable. Next, as I showed you in the past, the body is the negative output and the longest screw terminal is the overall positive output. So I have already connected the red and black wires to these points. Now let's take the multimeter, point it to DC voltage measurement mode and connect its pins to the alternator output wires red and black red is positive and black is negative next in the previous video i soldered these red and black wires to the rotor terminals so what i'm going to do now is take two jumper wires and connect them to the rotor to increase the length further for easy connection of my duracell next i'm choosing this mobile stand for better viewing of the multimeter. Finally, time to connect the DC motor wires to the speed controller and connecting the controller plug to the home socket supply. Next, always make sure to check if the controller knob is set to minimum. And after that, time to turn it on. And as you can see, it has started running. And you can also see that the meter is measuring zero volts and that is because i still have to connect this duracell to the rotor wires keep watching the meter display and here as you can see that it's generating only one volts although i had hoped for more still don't get disappointed because now comes the main part you might be thinking that this voltage is even lesser than the cell voltage so let me tell you this that its current is much higher and this point is going to change everything here so this what you see is a thin metal wire and this is a cylindrical metal piece so what i'm going to do here is to wind it on this metal thing so that it can take the shape of a spring like thing next i have to take it out carefully and connect it at the back of the alternator although I will not be showing you where it's being connected. That's because I want to check the results first to find out if this will even work or not as I think it would. And once that happens, I will share the trick with you. Okay, so time to turn it on. And then connecting the Duracell once again, okay? It is generating 1.5 volts or without any proper results. Seems like I will have to do one more change and then see what happens. Voltage is zero and 
Whoa! Finally, it has been excited. You can see that it is uh, flashing around 11 volts. This is what I have been waiting for. Time to connect one more belt because there was belt slippage because of which I could not achieve the rated voltage. Now, repeating the test with two belts, turning it on and go. Zero volts. Time to connect uh, the Duracell once again. So right now it is generating around 10 volts. So let's increase the RPM. And here we are easily having 11, 12 volts. Yeah. So that's the voltage that I was looking for. And finally, it is time to disconnect uh, the multimeter and connect some load. So this is an 80 watts night eye car headlamp. Wow, it's glowing quite bright. Nice. Let's turn off the lights. And... That is so bright. So even a single Duracell is enough to excite a car alternator. Let's connect four car headlamps this time. Oh man, the wire is smoking. Too much current is being fed to the rotor and this jumper cable is not able to handle it. Let me show you things quickly before it goes bad. You see, it's smoking. And this is the jumper wire that is feeding electricity to the rotor through this red wire. Let's quickly connect this bulb setup before this wire burns out. Finally this one. See. beautiful self-excited generator with a single drawback that once the setup disconnects then every time I will have to connect the Duracell to get it excited once again. Now moving on to the part of how I connected this spring and this Duracell. So this red and black wire, these two are the output terminals of this alternator. While these thin red and black wires are the input terminals of the alternator to the rotor. So let's move this black wire to side. Now if you see this white wire, I have connected this white jumper wire to the output red wire and the input red rotor wire. Now moving on to this black wire. This black is the output negative and entire body of the alternator is also negative. So it does not matter if I connect this black negative wire over here or over here. So I can say that I have connected one terminal of this spring to this black wire and the other end I have connected to the black wire of the rotor which is the black input wire. Now this black wire is going to be negative right so the negative terminal of the battery will be connected to this black wire. 
and the positive terminal will be connected to the overall positive output of the alternator for some time and as soon as it gets excited I will have to disconnect the battery.